Welcome back, compadres. Today we're talking reservoir engineering, specifically pressure transient analysis. So we've previously done rate transient analysis, which was our decline curve methods to get reservoir characterization parameters. Today we're talking pressure transient analysis, which is basically you put a pressure bomb in the well and you observe the pressure change with time. And from that, you can get reservoir characterization parameters. Today we're talking the drawdown test. The drawdown test is essentially where you just have the well shut in for a long period of time and then you just open up the choke and let it loose and from the data you can make interpretation to get reservoir characterization parameters. So today we're going to work through an Excel example to get reservoir characterization parameters from a drawdown test. So guys get amped up and let's get started. Today we're going to work through a demonstration to analyze drawdown test data from a gas well to obtain reservoir characterization parameters including permeability and skin. So this shows you a plot of pseudo pressure versus time. So when we plot our pressure data on here, which varies with time, we're going to want to convert our pressures to pseudo pressure because our pseudo pressures for gas wells takes into account the change in gas fluid properties and thus it's more accurate. So when you're dealing with gas data, you always want to use pseudo pressure. It's more accurate. The key concepts we're going to discuss today is infinite acting radio flow. So this analysis that we're going to do is for a well that's draining a cylindrical drainage volume. It's not linear flow. Another thing you need to remember is we're assuming constant rate production. So this straight line we're drawing through our data right here this is assuming constant rate production. Another thing we want to discuss is noise in our data. The noise can be contributed to well bore storage, so we're going to touch on that just a little bit. And then also, if you don't remember what a drawdown test is, the pressure is drawn down. What that means is your well has been shut in for a period of time, and then you just open up the choke and let it let the fluids just flood out, and you observe the pressure, bottom hole flowing pressure change with time. And so from drawdown test data you can get reservoir characterization parameters including permeability, skin, and radius of investigation. In our case we're just going to get permeability and skin and radius of investigation doesn't really help us that much at least in industry because we don't run a drawdown test long enough to see our pressure boundary in most cases especially since some reservoirs are really uh, tight and uh, so it'll take the pressure too long to propagate to the boundaries so before we get into the analysis I kinda want to touch on the equations we're using I think it's important to understand where they came from and what assumptions we're making so in our case we always start with the diffusivity equation for radio flow this equation is difficult to find solutions for but if you assume certain boundary conditions in this case we're going to assume constant rate at the bottom hole condition and we're also going to assume infinite acting we can end up with this equation in the terms of pseudo pressure so we put our pressures in terms of pseudo pressures because it's it's more accurate uh, for our uh, for gas wells and so you get this long equation which you'll find in textbooks and it doesn't make much sense but if you're clever you can rearrange this in the form of a straight line and so if you rearrange some of the terms in this equation distribute some of the terms you end up with this long equation right here which is in the form of a straight line y equals mx plus b where y is your pseudo pressure at the well at the bottom of the well your pseudo well flowing pressure this term right here is your slope which includes your permeability and then your log of time is your x and then this purple term is a big constant this is your b and so you can see this is in the form of a straight line so if we plot our data on a plot of pseudo pressure versus the log of time we should end up with a straight line and so in our case this straight line includes an intercept which is our purple term right here and it also includes a slope which is this term right here and so from these from the graph we can determine our slope and after we determine our slope we can determine permeability and then 
our intercept, we can get a, our intercept value at a time equal to 1 because on a semi-log plot at a value of 1 that's our intercept and this is our pseudo pressure at a time of 1 hour we can set it equal to this equation right here and determine our skin and so that's kind of the theory behind what we're doing and how we're able to get reservoir characterization parameters like permeability and skin so you can see here this is our data plotted right here this is our pseudo pressure at one hour our intercept we can get this value we can actually fit our straight line through this data through the straight line portion we can get our intercept which occurs at a value of one this is our pseudo pressure at one hour and then we can determine permeability from the slope of this line and then after we get permeability we can get skin using our intercept our pseudo pressure at one hour and also our permeability and so you will look at this data and see that we have some noise right here this is attributed by well bore storage so what is well bore storage well when you have the well shut in you have fluids all up in the tubing and so it takes a little bit of time after you open up the choke for these fluids to unload and get out of the reservoir and and, and after it does that the well is a basically it flows at a constant rate and you can make your interpretation so when you're doing this interpretation you want to fit your straight line through the straight line portion ignoring well bore storage so the steps we're going to go through in our excel demonstration is shown right here pause the video if you want to read more about this but we're going to cover it in our example and the references I'm using is right here gas reservoir engineering written by Wattenberger and Lee if you want to learn more technical details I suggest you go to this source this is a great book but in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and step into the Excel analysis so I can show you how to get reservoir characterization parameters from a drawdown test so let's jump into that the first step you want to do when you do a drawdown test is pull in your data that you got from the drawdown report. So you're going to need your producing time and your bottom hole flowing pressures at those corresponding producing times. So I pulled it in here for a gas well. These are the two columns we're going to be referencing. The next step you want to do is you want to calculate your pseudo pressures because we're going to put it on a plot of pseudo pressure versus the log of time. That's what our equations were derived from. And so I wrote a VBA function for this. And you can go back to the previous video, and I hope it's shown here where I did this and get the code. But for now, we're just going to run through this. So to calculate pseudo pressures at each pressure, you're going to need reservoir temperature. You're going to freeze that. You're going to need the pressure, which you're calculating it at, gas specific gravity and then your impurities in this case the data that I got from a PVT report said we had zero mole percentage of nitrogen zero mole percentage of CO2 and we actually have some H2S so it's a sour gas and you're going to want to freeze those and you're going to want to run this all the way down and plot it on this plot so I already formatted the plot to take in our pseudo pressures and times and so that's our data now we want to fit a straight line to this data so we got to put our straight line on here in order to do that we need to calculate a slope and an intercept for a straight line and use two data points in this case our data point is going to be the intercept and it's going to be some point way off in the distance probably at 10,000 hours so to calculate their sh your slope we're going to use the Excel function slope so this is built into Excel you guys should be able to access this it's not a VBA function it's going to take your Y's in this case it's going to be pseudo pressure you want to, want to freeze those and then because we have a semi log plot and we want a straight line on here we got to take the log of our X's or log of our times and so we're going to do that in this case carry that all the way down freeze that and so what we have here 
you can't take the log of zero so you always go down a couple points and so that's our slope now we need to calculate an intercept so I'm just going to carry this down and change this slope function to intercept and remember we have to take the logs of our times just that's a heads up there okay so now we have our slope and intercept now we need to make two data points and calculate our corresponding pressure on our straight line so I've chosen the intercept which occurs at a value of one and then some point off in the distance so in order to calculate our pseudo pressure from our x's we're gonna to have to use the straight line log interpretation so it's gonna take our intercepts plus the log of our time or the intercept plus the slope and you're going to want to freeze those because I'm gonna carry it down times the log of our time okay so you can see there there are line popped up so this line is reading those two these four cells right here with our X's is this value and our Y's is our pseudo pressures and this isn't Horner this is a drawdown okay so now we have our data through here or a straight line so the next step you want to do is you want to calculate your perm and skin and so those are the equations from the slide so these are the two main equations we're using and I wrote VBA functions for those it's just simple one line functions and I'll post that on my blog and so I call them permeability radial drawdown and it's going to take all those arguments right here. It's going to take our gas rates. In this case, this well is producing at 2,500,000 cubic feet per day. It's going to take temperature, reservoir temperature. It's going to take the slope from our line. And it's going to take our reservoir pay zone thickness. And so that's our permeability right there so now we want to calculate since we calculated perm we can now calculate skin so I wrote a VB function for that it's called skin drawdown radial and it's gonna take arguments it's gonna take our initial reservoir pseudo pressure so we calculated that over here this is at time zero our pressure was 4500 psi which is going to be a pseudo pressure that's really big and so we're going to freeze that and then pseudo pressure at one hour which is our intercept and then it's going to take our perm our slope from our straight line right here it's going to take some reservoir properties like porosity it's going to take fluid properties like gas viscosity total system compressibility and well bore radius so okay we have our skin and our permeability we calculated that now we have to go do back and do our interpretation so you can see here our line doesn't necessarily fit the straight line portion really well it's actually doing regression off of some of these points and this is not part of our analysis this is noise in our data contributed by well bore storage so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this and I'm gonna say like look at these points I'm gonna say looks like our data is a straight line in this region so I'm gonna regress off of let's just say point 10 right here and so what I'm gonna do is go change my slope and my intercept so let's go down to this value where a time of 10 hours and see what happens to our plot and we have to change both the slope and intercept to the same values 
So this just takes some just you know you just gotta play around with it. So now after I chose different points to regress on using my slope and intercept functions, you can see here that line looks like it fits pretty well through our straight line portion. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm comfortable with this interpretation. I think we did a good job in capturing the straight line portion. This portion right here, ignoring wellbore storage. And you can see here, this is our pseudo pressure at one hour. So I just put a point on here just to sh show where it's at. And so once we have a good fit through the straight line portion of our data, we can go back and look at our perm and skin. And you can see our function adjusted based on the slope and intercept that we fit our line to. And so, bang, there we have it. So the perm on this well would be 0 0.140 millidarcies, and our skin would be 2.17. And so that's what you can get from a drawdown test, guys, using actual data. This is how you do a drawdown test. I hope you learned something. Next, we're going to go cover some type curves in the pressure buildup test. You can do a little bit more with a buildup test than you can with a drawdown. But this is kind of the first step, the first fundamental step to understanding well testing and its application to natural gas engineering. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time, and adios.